Hey guys, so it is time for a works in progress update for August. I had a pretty good stitching month in August. I worked on all of my projects. I started a new one, which I think you already know about. So up first is Dorian. Let me unroll her. Ugh. Dorian needs a good ironing. All right. So this is Dorian. Can you see? I have no idea. Oh yeah, you can. So I did, uh, I finished off her arm up to her shoulder there. And I just started work up in her boa here, which is kind of a confetti nightmare. Um, I wanted to work on Dorian this week, like the first week in September, but I am still working on my new start because I love it so much and I don't, I don't know if I want to go back to Confetti City just yet, but we'll see. So that is Dorian. Good progress on her this month, I felt. It's always hard to start stitching on Dorian again because it's such a big project. It's not as big as like a heaven and earth design project, I don't think, but it's my biggest one. And it's always like, ugh, you know, you just see it grow so much slower. But once I stitch on it for like a day, I'll be back into it. So that is Dorian. Uh, next, we will show the Blackwork Sampler. Save the stitches. And I have to say, I have been loving seeing other people stitching this. I know Emily um, Chadwick has started and Joanne has the first block done. So ladies, it is so cool to see your Save the Stitches. Uh, this is mine. So I put in some pretty good progress. I just have a little bit left here um, on the end. And then I think, I think there's only up to part 15 released on the website, last I checked. And that's just this next block. And then I will have to wait for more parts. So that might mean if I can get caught up to the website and what's released this month, I might sneak in another new start because I don't really know how long it takes for these parts to be posted. Um, I posted a video on blocks six and seven, I think. I have a video for blocks eight and nine as well. I just forgot to upload it, <laughs> honesty. So I will put that up in the next couple of days and I'm excited to start work on the black work again this month. My third whip is the Canada Sampler, which once again, I'm sorry about the junky fabric, <laughs> so ignore the horrible fabric. But um, I put a lot of work in on this this month. Uh, or maybe it just went really fast because it's a sampler, so it's a bunch of little tiny, tiny pictures. So this is my Canada sampler. This fabric is so bad I can see through it. I don't even have to check if you can see because I can see that you can see. So this is the bottom of my maple leaf. This whole sampler is in the shape of a maple leaf, if you didn't know. Uh, so that totem pole is the stem. And then... Hmm. How to display. Cross my arm, maybe? Oh god, okay. Um, so this is like the bottom edge of the maple leaf and then going up to the point. This lobster is like the farthest point. You can see I didn't leave much space in my fabric. I don't really care about that. I don't think this is something that I'm going to want to frame or anything. It's just kind of fun to work on. So I put in... Um, well, let's just let's just do a little... A little close up. So Parliament Building we saw. There's a moose. Um, Fleur de Lis I think we saw last time. Uh, there's like a some wheat. <laughs> Very appropriate. Um, let me just fold this over here. So uh, the CN Tower. A little lighthouse. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Maple Leaf. <laughs> Uh, a lobster, a little fish that you can't really see. Um, oh, I meant to ask. 
So the pattern for this, it must have been stitched on, on white, like pure white, because something like this, like the lighthouse, it isn't filled in. But you'd think, is it supposed to be white? I have no idea. So mine I just left, like you can see the fabric right through it. So I don't know if I should go back and make it white. I kind of like how it looks just like this. But everything that's just open, like these lines and this lighthouse, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be white or not because I didn't use white fabric. So there's a little um, Adirondack chair. I don't know what this is. It just looks like, it just looks like a little, oh, I bet it's a hook, like a fishing hook. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, I don't know. There's like a fishing boat, which is very cute. Uh, there's a hockey skate and a big disgusting goose <laughs> that I, I posted on Instagram about when I was stitching that of course there's like a big gross goose because Canada is full of gross nasty geese. <laughs> uh, but my favorite thing so far has been this. This is a tiny Inukshuk. And Inukshuks are one of my very favorite things. Um, it was the symbol for the Winter Olympics when we had the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. The symbol for that, and uh, what was that, 2010? That, that's an Inukshuk. You can, um, maybe I'll link something down below about what Inukshuks are, but I think they're very, very cool and lovely. We have an Inukshuk in our backyard, actually. Um, they're just like stone, they look like little people and they're made of stones and I like what they symbolize. Um, I have one tattoo right now. If I was gonna get a second tattoo, I know exactly what I would get. I would get an Inukshuk and I would get it right behind my ear, uh, and I might, I might get it. Ugh, I don't know. That's a different thing. But anyways, so I'm so happy there's a tiny Anukshuk in here. Love that. And then this. <laughs> okay, my mom and I looked at this for so long, and we could not figure out what it was. So it's like a, it's a circle thing. Like it's, it's shaped in a circle. What do you guys think this is? I know what it is now because we figured it out. <laughs> so I have an answer for you. Uh, but I'm just going to, I'm going to give like just a couple seconds here. Just look at this weird bluey turquoise circle thing and tell me what you think it is. Hmm? First impression. Because when I was stitching it, I had zero clue. I was like, okay. So now I'm stitching this circle-y thing. The, the shape of it really threw me off. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was like, is it some kind of like sports thing? Is it like like a sports ball. <laughs> I actually said sports ball when I was asking my mom. I was like, mom, do you have any idea what this could be? Is, do you think it's a sports ball? <laughs> so yes, I call, I call things sports balls. Um, okay, so what it actually is, what we did was um, seeing it like stitched didn't help and I was looking so closely that, you know how sometimes you can't see what you're working on because you're working on it too close? And then you pull back and you're like, oh. Um, so what I what we had to do was look up the original picture, like on um, this is a pattern from Stitcherovia on Etsy, and I will link that down below. I'm sure I usually do if I remember. Um, so I had to bring up the Etsy shop and like the picture of it, not stitched, just like the picture, so you couldn't see all the little stitches. <laughs> it's Niagara Falls. It's Niagara Falls, but it's, it's in like a circle because that's how it fits in the space. So just pretend that this isn't a circle. Can you see the like waterfall? It's Niagara Falls. So <laughs> my, I didn't figure it out, my mom did. We were looking at the picture and she was like, I don't know, and walked away. And then she came running back and went, it's Niagara Falls. <laughs> so, um, so it's Niagara Falls. Just, it's like a little, a little, little bit of Niagara Falls. Uh, so that is what I have done so far on the Canada Sampler. This is a really fun stitch. Um, I, think I'll, I think I'll get through it pretty fast, uh, which is nice. And then I can start something else. Who am I turning into with all these new starts? So that's the Canada Sampler. Um, I talked about that for a long time. I'm sorry if you're not interested in the Canada Sampler because I just talked about it for forever. So on to my new start this month, which was really just my new start from like last week because I just started it. It's the Twisted Band Sampler. 
Um, I posted a video on the new start. I also have a video on how I chose my silk colors because I chose a custom color palette for this pattern. I think this pattern is beautiful. It's the first time I've done really any kind of specialty stitch. Um, so there's there are bands of cross stitch and then there's like there are smaller bands of specialty stitches. So you don't have to do a huge amount of specialty stitching at one time. And the stitches that you are doing, you're doing over and over again. So it's actually a really nice like practice forum to learn. So that's cool. Um, but I picked my own colors. It's originally charted in a beautiful, bright, vivid rainbow uh, that, as I've said before, is just not really my thing. I think the colors are beautiful, but I have a feeling if I stitched it in the colors it's charted for, like in the rainbow, I would never want to like hang it anywhere. This I feel like I would want to hang. <laughs> so this is what I've done so far. There you go. So, um, quite a few bands actually. I was just stitching on this like gangbusters. Um, the first, you start in the corner, right? The first ones were easy because the bands were so small. Uh, so it was like I was seeing new colors all the time and that was really exciting, but starting to get a little longer now. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying to decide if I should do a uh, a series of videos on this like I have on my black work where I show like real close-ups of each section. Let me know if you would be interested in that um, because you really can't see the detail. Although I have a lot of um, Instagram pictures of this piece if you're interested that is linked down below. So so far I'll just tell you the colors so far that I've used. So uh, this in the very corner is pearl these are dinky dyes, silks also. Pearl, that's lemon and mint. Beautiful lemon and mint. Then um, salt bush. And charcoal. And then this gold kind of color is called caramel. And then this is stormy sky, the blue. Blue-ish. So, I am really liking these colors so far. I like how they look together. Um, if you didn't see my video where I talked about my planning for this project, um, I really only have nine colors that I'm going to repeat. So after Stormy Sky, I have Daintree, which is like a bluish purple variegation. Then I have Emerald, which is a deeper kind of gray, green, um, and then I have my black color. So I'm going to do Finish Off Stormy Sky, then Daintree's Band, Emerald's Band, then I'm going to do a tiny little band of pearl, then a band of black, a smaller band. I didn't want to have the black be humongous because it's already such a deep color. So it's going to be a tiny little band of pearl, then black, then pearl again, and then I'm just going to repeat all my colors again. So emerald, daintree, stormy sky, caramel, this is like a quiz, charcoal, salt bush, lemon and mint pearl. So this is almost all of the colors. I only have a couple more colors uh, before I repeat them. And yeah, I think it's going to look really nice. I'm trying not to second guess my color choices which is very easy for me to do. <laughs> um, I had mentioned on Instagram that every time I start a new color, I kind of freak out because I think like, what if it's not gonna look good? But whatever, it's gonna look great. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's a beautiful pattern. I think it's so classy looking and lovely. So that is my new start, which is the Twisted Band Sampler. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I usually I stitch on Dorian at the start like once my rotation <laughs> flips around, um, it usually goes Dorian, then Blackwork, then Canada Sampler, um, and then it'll be Twisted Band Sampler now that I have this fourth one. I really want to keep working on the Twisted Band <laughs> Sampler. Um, so I was thinking like maybe I could just do another week of the Twisted Band Sampler, but I'm, I'm going to make myself go back to Dorian, but I'm going to give myself one more day. I'm going to stitch on the Twisted Band Sampler today, and then I'm going to pack it up 
uh, until the end of the month. So one more day to stitch on the Twisted Band Sampler and then I'm going to go back to Dorian because I crave structure. Uh, so that is my whip update. Um, thank you again always for all your fantastic support and comments. You guys have no idea how nice it is. Uh, everyone is so thoughtful and lovely and this is just the best little community. Um, I have to tell you, if you're not vocal in the floss tube community, if you watch the videos but you don't leave comments or, or you, uh, you don't make videos, you really, really should. If it's something you think you're interested in, everyone is so lovely. I mean, you will hear from us. If you leave a comment, everyone usually responds. And it's so nice. Like, I started this YouTube channel almost a year ago. I started it last October, but I was doing makeup videos. Um, this community is so close, close-knit, pun. Um, it's so close and lovely and s I want to say small. It's not that small, but what I can say coming from trying to get into the makeup community, which is humongous, there is so much more accessibility and there's so much more opportunity to actually connect with people in this community than there was in like the makeup one. So. I just have to say, you all are fabulous and amazing, and I encourage any silent floss tubers to share your opinions, whether on Facebook, here on YouTube, through a comment, through a like, through anything on Instagram, because this is a really wonderful group of people. Um, as always, I will have my links down below. I have my Instagram link down below. You can see my daily stitching. Um, I have quite a few photos up on there. I try to take a photo every day of what I'm working on. And until next time, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.